Hey guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack and uh, trying to get through with some stove covers and I was putting my, my, my D1 to work today. As you know, since I got the Pro, the D1 is now my stove cover and tumblers and ammo cans and anything that I don't want to do or that I have to add the extensions to it to be able to do it, I'm going to continue to use the 5 watt unless it's one of those jobs where I need a little extra power or a little extra speed. but. I think I'm going to be good. Uh, that, that way I can keep my 20 watt running over in the enclosure. But I just wanted to show you, uh, this is straight off of the, the laser. It just finished. And uh, I just wanted to show you what the, uh, the results I got. I'm running the ComGrow Air Assist on this guy. Uh, the one benefit that I didn't notice the other day, that I did notice today when I was prepping this uh, stove cover, getting it ready to go, is the ComGrow, the cover that they, they put on there, it's a metal cover, it's not the uh, orange plastic, but that metal cover is actually shorter than the one that comes with the X-Tool. And so, I know a lot of times, you know, the, the cover will, will hit if you start getting too close with your, uh, with your focus and you don't have a whole lot of uh, room to play with, but if you're doing something that's not exactly flat uh, Cause sometimes I do bar stools and stuff like that where they have a little bit of a, 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 a concave uh, top. This is actually a benefit because instead of having to take that shroud off completely, uh, you can leave it on there because it's pretty much the nozzle and the shroud are together. And it, it, it gives you probably a good, almost a half of an inch between the module and the engraved surface. So give me just a second. I'm gonna move the uh, camera over here and show you what this uh, burn looks like. But there's the, uh, the burn, and I'll try to get a little closer uh, look at it once I get it over to the sanding table and show you what it looks like. But I mean, considering that it's, that, is, that is pine and it is very sappy wood, and I'm, I'm running that thing pretty deep, uh, I've got the speed slowed down and the power up to try to make sure that it is engraved into the material and not just staining it. So give me a second, let me get it over to the sand table and uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do there. All right guys, I got the, uh, the other stove cover started on the engraver over there. And I got my 80 grit and I'm gonna take that off because uh, when I touch these up, I usually do it in 120. I run them down to 80 grit before the engrave, but after that I stick with 120 just to smooth it down a little bit more and make sure I don't take a whole lot of material off of that, so. There you go, guys. That is the uh, end result. And like I said, there's, it's, it's, it's actually engraved in there. That's down, it's probably a full millimeter deep in that, uh, in that pine. So let me see if I can prop this thing up and I'll try to get the camera and uh, get in there and show you what it looks like a little closer. All right, guys, I'm having to freehand this, but, uh, there's the engrave and you can see the uh, the detail and also if any of you ever notice that you have lines in your works just pay attention to the grain of the wood because that is actually the grain of this pine uh, it uh, it tends to uh, burn unevenly because of the uh, the grain of the wood so but that is uh that's not a bad not a, not a bad burn with the new air assist, so I can't complain. All right, guys, I was just gonna make a quick video uh, showing you what the air assist uh, that I got from ComGrow, what it does. Uh, I've got the video, if, if, if this is the first you've heard of it, I've got a video of when I 
first got it on there, kind of introducing everybody to it. But uh, it's, it's not a, economically speaking, it's, it's not a bad deal. Uh, a lot of similarities to uh, the one that X-Tool makes. I actually prefer the way they do the nozzle and the uh, shield. I prefer that over the original X-Tool D1 uh, approach. So the output, as far as the air output, seems adequate. It did a good job on that engrave. And I know a lot of you are like anti-air assist while engraving, but guys, it works for me. I'm gonna to continue to do it. Uh, I've done it both ways and especially on some of the woods that I do, it works better if once it makes that first little bit of burn, if it blows that ash out of the way so that that second pass is not trying to engrave already burnt ash. But thanks for stopping by guys and uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit that 3000 mark, making some progress, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna get there eventually, but I'd like to do it sooner than later. But uh, if you uh, have any other questions, comments, concerns, gripes, whatever, feel free to drop them in the comments. And uh, you can also go to my Facebook page and check that out. If you need to message me, if you have any questions or want my opinion on something, feel free to message me on Facebook and I'll try to return your message as soon as I can. Uh, but I'll fix to get back to turning out some more stove covers and I've got a few boxes, organizational boxes still burning in here uh, because I need some more in my work area inside the house where I do my hats. Uh, spent the morning sewing some patches on some hats and realized that uh, I need a couple of my 12 inch bins in there to put stuff in. So I'm burning even more boxes today with the uh, Pro. So thanks and uh, have a good day.